Touch your neighbor, say neighbor, welcome. Before we start, I want you to take up your Bible, open the book of Lamentation, chapter 5. Am I communicating? I read. Remember, O oh Lord, what has happened to us. Look at us and see our disgrace. Two, our properties is in the hand of the strangers. Foreigners are living in our homes. Three, our fathers have been killed by the enemies. And now our mothers are widows. We must pay for the water we drink. We must buy the wood we need for fuel. Driving hard like donkey and camel. We are tired. But we allow no rest. Six, to get food enough to stay alive, we want, we went begging to Egypt and Assyria. Two years ago, I was telling people that God said, 2023 is the advert of hunger. 2024, the, the hunger will be terrible. To the extent, a liter of fuel will be 1,000 or 1,000 something. A bag of rice will be 100 and something thousand. And I told people so many things that will happen. That we will see food but no money to buy them. That everything will turn upside down. That I also saw America and China, U.S. taking over Nigeria. I told you that in the spirit world, the whole Nigeria was sold 2010. That our terrible disaster will start 2023 and it will be obvious 2024 and it will last 25 years. Many people that think they see more than God say that God did not talk to me. I told them that results will settle it. When we enter 2024, everybody will know whom God is using and whom God sent to the earth to deliver his people and also to deliver messages. That same time was the time I told them that my three markets, a place called my three park, that they are selling things, that government will use four days and take it. And all the people selling there will be chased out. That from that sign, they will know that God sent me to say it. They say it's a lie. They need another sign. I told them that a dog, as governor weekend, will give bone to eat. That the dog, as governor weekend, will give bone to eat. Will leave the bone and start biting his finger. To the extent of shooting at him, they will use gun to shoot at him, but nothing will happen to him. But it will bring disaster in River State. That I saw president of this country, that the person I saw as a president was not a man called whatever they call him, but the person that I saw. On that seat was a man called Tunubu. That he is an old man. That I saw him there. That he would turn everything upside down. People said I should pray for the person they choose. I told them, pray for the person you choose. If the person is not whom God has chosen, you will call me a liar. They say everybody is prophesying that the man will sit on that seat. 
that it's only mother that did not see the man, and it's only mother that saw somebody that would deal with them. Everybody was molesting, fighting me. I told them, stop this fight so that you will not hurt yourself. After president election, if that man did not sit there, no, I'm a liar. And after president election, the man is sitting there. I told them 2020 that God said he will use him of state and wipe the tears of the Holy Ghost. That a covenant boss is buried there. That it, bear, it was buried during the time of a man they call Ojuku, I don't know him. And I told them that an old man that was wearing white, his beard was white, came with other old men. They told me this and said I should spread it. They said I should be supporting them and the color in prayers. But I should have in mind that 2020, 2020 that the color will be kidnapped. When I say it, they said I have Obanje. And now, everybody is now suffering for the Obanje. You know, this is early morning, we are just starting. I am not here to tell you that I'm powerful. I remember when I told you that I saw revolution. I saw fight from northern side. Didn't you see it too? Did this showcase? And they are fighting now to stop it. They are fighting to stop it. It's like pouring water on top of a stone. From now till November, if they did not release Nande, 2025 will be like a war between Iran and Iraq. And I told the Imo State people that Imo State is a blessed land. Even when I went there to preach, I saw three old people. One of them said his name is Abba Kambi, say that if I tell him or tell people, they know him. The other one said that his name is Maman Jaba. The other one said that, her, I mean to say, the other one said that her name is Maman Jaba. The other one said that her name is Otamiri. I told the old people, I don't like fighting unnecessary visitor because every visitor have a reason they came. They say that they know that God sent me, that I should not fear. I should continue telling him instead that they should stop building hotel, that they should handle the ones they have built already and build companies because evil state will be the number one route that will make evil to stand in time to come. They say I call them and shower evil state people. They gave me 41 days if I didn't give them cow that I would die. I gave them 30 days, I told them. If 30 days end, war did not start from Olo and reach away. And Imo said they did not divide it into two after a few months or years. Anywhere you see me, stone me to death. They were drunk many Inkubus and Sukubus that were blind in spirit came out to threaten what they cannot stand. All the lies they said I lied, are they not happening? It has come to pass. Today they have divided the most state, or no state and the other state. Now, I told them that time that war will never end in Imo State until he reach eight years, that they will fight eight years, that the war will start from Olo and reach away. Since that time to now, there have been war. I am not here to show that I'm powerful. All the people saying things are hard, things are hard. My dear Fuel, yesterday night, Fuel was. 1,000 a liter, 1,500. Me, I bought 1,500 naira fuel. A bag of rice, 110,000 naira in Portacot. Then, how you will know a real servant that God sent when they talk to you? 
it will happen. It may not happen immediately, but it must surely happen. Because God speaks by Jerusalem. He came and happened my company. I told people I saw US, China taking over Nigeria. Everybody was insulting me. What I saw in spirit, I was watching them. They were doing the meeting in the Santo. I came out to Santorium to tell them they say I lied. Today, what is going on? Is it not it? Oh, your land. And I told you that they will change language. Many languages will be forced on us. Number one, China. That many schools will learn China. Today, are they not learning Chinese? In some secondary universities. God said the secret of God is made open to those that fear him. I am not righteous or holy. I am not worthy to be called a child of God. But ne, na, he chose me. You did not choose me. And he knows why he chose me. If you are here, you are shouting. Nothing is going to happen. Get ready for the worst. Because this worst, many people will lose their houses. Many will lose their husband. Many young men will be kidnapped. Am I communicating? Many young men will be kidnapped. And it's going on already. Many will look for their brothers. They will not see them again. Many kings, many leaders that are behind the calamity going on. Some of them will just wake up. They will, their family will not, not know their dresses. Some of them, they will cut off their head and hang in front of their houses. I am not saying what I didn't see. I am telling you what I'm seeing. Those that have ear, let them hear. Thus says the Lord of hosts.